Stick from the Tactical Training Center here. I'm here to give you a training tip on how to use one of our bench rests at the uh, rifle ports. Uh, we have four rifle ports. Two of them are equipped with a nice wide uh, bench so that you can get a good solid zero on your rifle. But I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to get the most out of this platform. All right? First thing is that when you hang your target, make sure your target is as level and plumb as possible. Okay? And that way when you make your adjustments with your scope, you can uh, be sure that uh, everything matches the adjustments and everything is going straight up and straight down. All right, so I'm just going to run this target out to 25 yards. 25 yards is probably the standard as far as getting your, your, your bench rest zero. And after you get a 25 yard zero, you can go out to 100 yards or 200 yards, whatever you want to do, wherever you want to zero your rifle, and um, you can get a good solid zero or a refined zero from there. But this is a great area to start. It's also going to save you, save you time and money, you know, with ammo, not expending too much ammo. Basically, what you want to do when you set your rifle up is you want to take as much play or muscle or bone support out of the rifle as possible. So take advantage of the rest on the front. Make sure that you have enough elevation on the front just by adjusting these wing nuts right here. All right, I'm adjusting mine a little bit more because I know where I need to get my, uh, my scope. I've done this before. And the same thing with the sandbags. We have some sandbags back here. Um, ask some of the RSOs for help because the RSOs are really helpful with this type of stuff. But use as much uh, mechanical support as you can when you're getting that zero on your rifle, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, you know, of course, get your eyes and ears on, all that good stuff, okay? I'm gonna make sure that my stool is set up the right way because I wanna be in balance with my rifle. I wanna be as plumb and level with the rifle as possible. Now, here's a hint. If your eyes are level, your ears will be level, you'll be in balance, okay? Again, take out all the variables that you can. So I'm just gonna get a, a nice, good, solid position. Feet are flat on the floor. My elbows are, are anchored on the bench. Uh, what's really good, really helpful, is to get your ammo and set it right here, so that you're minimizing your support, minimizing your movement, so that you can be consistent with your operation of the rifle, with, with whether it's working the bow, bolt, or the trigger, or the safety, whatever. Have your ammo right here. All right, I'm just going to dry fire a couple rounds here, all right, just to show you what to do. If you notice, I've also taken my sling and I've lengthened it, so the sling isn't resting on the rest, so that I have a good solid uh, rest on the front of the stock. And just because this is a scope sighted rifle, it doesn't mean that you can't do the same thing with your iron sighted rifle. You get an AR-15, bring it over here, and get a real solid zero on your rifle, okay? So um, I'm taking, again, as much bone support out of this as possible, using the mechanical support. I'm going to get my natural point of aim. I'm going to move over just a little bit, line the crosshairs up with the target, okay? And what I'm actually doing right here on the sandbag is I'm squeezing the sandbag to get some elevation onto the buttstock, okay? And there's my, there's my rest right there. Again, getting my natural point of aim, squeezing the sandbag, lining up the crosshairs to the target. Okay, I started my uh, shot sequence. I was able to dry fire a shot. I saw very little movement or no movement in the crosshairs. I know I can call that as a good shot, okay? So again, use the platform for the, the best of the ability, use the sandbags, use the rest, get everything adjusted the correct way, make sure that you're in level, make sure that you're in balance, and you'll have a good time getting your rifle very refined and getting a nice zero on it. Ask our RSOs for help because they're very helpful with this and very knowledgeable. Have a good day.